Hello guys and welcome to my first YouTube video which is a tutorial of IFSEL version 2.6.2. Please know that I am not the creator of this program and I will put a link in the description to the original website. So I'm going to start out in Sandbox, start the game. And first off what we have to do is we have to connect to Lyoko before we do anything. So we're going to start by doing that with Lyoko start. And don't forget your parentheses around start. And then we need to do Lyoko connect to get connected. And once that is loaded, you can either minimize, close, or simply type Lyoko stop to close that window. And now what we need to do is we need to start transferring our warriors. So we're going to start with trans start, and then I'm going to transfer Alita, Yumi, and Odd. You can, remember, you can only transfer three at a time, so if you want to transfer all four, you can do two and two, one and three, or however you like it. Order does not matter. And then we need to scan them. So we're going to start with scan and then start. Again, don't forget your parentheses. And then we're going to do scan Yumi, scan Odd, and scan Alita. And then what we have to do is we have to virtualize them. So normally what you can do is you can do vert and then one of the four sectors, such as the forest, the mountains, ice, etc. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to virtualize them into Carthage or sector five. So what you do is you have to start by doing Carthage and then start to open up the login window. And then what you do is you need to type in the password Scipio, S-C-I-P-I-O. And then once it connects to Carthage, you can go into the command window again and type in vert Carthage, which is the target sector. Now remember, there's only one tower there. So normally what you would have to do is type in your sector and then a tower. But since sector five only has one tower, you really can't virtualize there either. Remember, it'll virtualize you into the dome. So then once everybody gets virtualized, you'll have their audio cards or their interaction windows. So what you can do is choose where you want them to go and then tell them if you want them to automatically move. You can dismount or mount onto a vehicle from here, enter a tower, etc. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have them go to the interface so I can get the data from Xana. But first what happens is as we start running, you notice that the key will activate. Now what you have to do is you have to set them all to go to a different key and then they have to activate it to stop the timer or else they'll be stuck. And then once they get to the timer on their interaction card, there will simply be an activate key button. So Yumi found the key, so we just activate it and now everybody can go over to the interface so we can collect the data. And remember, once you're in the collection interface with uh, Ileta transferring the data, you cannot use any commands. And then sometimes Xana will spawn in some monsters to try and stop you, but we can get rid of those. Easy peasy. So now I'm going to virtualize in some vehicles. I'm going to use the overwing and the overboard. So basically what you just do is you would type in overwing and then your target player. They have to be virtualized in order for it to go to them. And now I'm going to start collecting data. Once a leader reaches the interface, you can simply just press collect data. And now what I'm also doing is one of the things I can do while I'm collecting data is I'm putting them on the vehicles. Right above locate on their interaction card, it'll say get on this vehicle, get on that vehicle. You can use the arrow keys to specify which one if you've, multi if you've virtualized multiple in with them. And then Xana will also send some monsters that you'll have to fight off again. But as you can see, one of the monsters destroyed my overboard. So now I'm gonna send in the overbike so that way they have a second vehicle so they all can get out. I'll have Alita drive. And then I'll have them go to the tunnel. But before they can leave, I need to deactivate the tunnel like Jeremy does. So to do that, you're going to do Carthage, Tunnel. And then you're going to do Tunnel in your designated sector where you want them to go to. And then you'll do Tunnel, Execution. And then what you need to do is you need to do Carthage and then Transp to activate the transporter. And then once you're at the tunnel, you can do Transp and then your designated sector. I've chosen the forest because I love that sector. And now you got to be careful because what happened is they fell. So now they're falling into the virtual sea. So you'd have to devirtualize them using Devert and then Devert in all their names. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them all fall in just for fun.
So as you can see, now they've all been lost forever. And normally what will happen is like, say, Alita got devirtualized without using Code Earth or something, or you can go into scan and recover their data, like in the one episode. But you can't do that when they fall into the virtual sea. Okay guys, thanks for watching my tutorial. Hope to see you in the next video.